Welcome, <clears throat> welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, we are back, we are back. Still staying off that Connor Ben not being able to get the knockout over an outclass, outmass Pete Adoption. How much of Connor Ben's power is related to the special sauce? I don't know, man. I don't know. And we got a good one for you today. I want to get into Tifimo Lopez and Jermaine Ortiz. A uh, really intriguing fight. Uh, Thursday night. Guys, don't forget this is Thursday night for reasons unknown. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Box and 3 Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. We're killing it every single week. Uh, every week we were making money. We did it again last week. Having really, really good weeks. Putting them back to together, back to back together over and over again. Consistently showing you that revenue. Um, remember, there's always a bull market somewhere. The odds makers. The boxing bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to consistently show you how to make money betting on the sport. It's that easy. It's that simple. Uh, also, subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, the Patreon is uh, in It's in the description. Uh, $5 a month. You can ask the boxing bookie anything. You can have me request a fight. Uh, you get a free T-shirt. You can request a, a handicap a fight. You get a free T-shirt. There's all types of perks in there as well. Um, the boxing bookie is a little, little under the weather. Um, but he's still whatever, whatever you need. We're still having success stories. Um, let's get into, uh, also subscribe to our channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Uh, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Tiafimo Lopez and Jermaine Ortiz. I got unfortunate news for you guys. I think this fight's going to be a stinker. Um, I, I just, Jermaine Ortiz isn't the guy who I think makes very interesting fights. He's a guy who, to me, looks a little uncomfortable in exchanges. He doesn't like to be in exchanges. He likes to either be on the inside where he can kind of spin out and hold. Uh, he'll always take a clinch. You know, and he'll, he'll throw a little bit. He's sharp on the inside, but he's not going to stay there. And then he wants to be on the outside, and it's like one jab at a time. I think you're going to get a lot of Lopez kind of loading up with one shot. One shot. You may get a couple of counter right hands from um, – from Jermaine Ortiz. Remember, Jermaine Ortiz, we saw him switch Southpaw for a little bit in the Jamel Herring fight. He can do that, so he can switch it a little bit. I don't really think much of that's going to matter. Um, Jermaine Ortiz is a guy, you, know, you can see the skills, you can see the craftiness. He just doesn't seem to commit to it. He's got a good jab. Good little snappy jab. He doesn't really fire in combinations. He doesn't really sit down or commit to his punches. He keeps his hands low a lot of times, so I, I think he can be hit. He's not a high volume guy. He's not a big puncher. What he is is, is a good athlete with with decent long range and inside skills. I wouldn't call him a three dimensional, a, a three level fighter because he doesn't really exchange in the, in the mid range. He wants to be all the way in or all the way out. Uh, I, I, so he's gonna have two choices: risk getting tagged coming in, which can end the night for him with Tiafimo Lopez's explosiveness, or try to stay on the outside. And I think he's gonna try to stay on the outside. Jamel Ortiz has <clears throat> done well with high level fighters. You know, he 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 beat Jamel Herring and fought Vasil Lomachenko very competitively. So I'm not saying he's a bum. He's a, he's a good fighter. He's quick, slick feet, good movement. You know, throws his punches well from the outside. Can cre can maintain the distance with his footwork and his speed. He's there's definitely a lot of skills to him. TV with Lopez, we know. TV with Lopez, if his head's there, he's as good as it gets in the sport. And, and that's for Remember, guys, it was not long ago where at 23 years old, we were saying TV with Lopez is, is primed to be the best fighter in the sport. That happened. Uh, can he get back there? I don't know. You know, I'm not one who is super hyped about his Josh Taylor performance. Now, it was better. For sure, it was better. But it, it's still flawed. He's not using his jab as much. He's still he's way too in love with his power, right? It's, it's one shot at a time way too often. Again, he, he's got a low guard. He gets hit, and I've said this this whole time. He leaves himself. He's so wide open coming in. If you can time him, you can sit back. Like he can be caught. Now, you got to be able to stand in with him, and I don't think Jermaine Ortiz is, so I, I, I don't think this is going to be that fight. But there, there are there are definitely a lot of flaws in Tiafimo Lopez's style. 
you know, he's he's a terrific finisher. He he's got all the tangible. Anything, you know, if you were making a a a boxer um fight night, like you would make Tiafima Lopez. Great speed, great power, you know, uh great footwork, really twitchy, athletic, great reflexes, and he, he's a great finisher. He's got a great jab. He can sit there and he can outbox Lomachenko. He can do that. I don't know what happened to that guy. And I think getting back there is step by step. Um, he throws his punches from a barrage of angles. You know, his, his counter shots. Just like, and they both throw really nice counter shots. Kind of right hands. The kind of rear shots are really nice. Uh, I just see it happening. You know, Ortiz not really engaging. And Tiafimo Lopez chasing him down. He'll win the majority of the round. So I'm, I'm going to take Tiafimo Lopez. I just, I, I you know, I, I know a lot of people are excited for this fight. And it's a, it's a good fight in name value. You know, and I think it's competitive. I think it's just a, a bit of a snooze fest. And I think Tiafimo Lopez is, is, is going to win. He's probably going to win a decision. We're not going to touch that because I don't really love these odds. Um, but Tiafimo Lopez is minus 700. That's really wide. He's going to win the fight. You know, they want you to take Jermaine Ortiz at plus 450, but Jermaine Ortiz is not going to win this fight. T.P. Lopez is going to win the fight. It's minus 700. Is it over or under? I'd probably make this part of a parlay because he's going to win. I don't know. Like I said, I, I think Jermaine Ortiz is going to make this a bit of a stinker. Can Lopez catch him anyway? I don't know. I, I don't think so. My hunch is it's going to go the distance, but we're not going to put any money on that. Uh, because it's ultimately not worth it for me. You know, I look at minus 120. Yeah, it's just the odds aren't great for it. Um, so we're going to take TV Lopez just on the money line times two. I'm, I'm extremely confident he wins this fight. A two times bet makes you just 28.57, so we're not cleaning up on this. But, you know, like I said, you can make it part of a parlay. Uh, you can watch the rest of the shows this week, and, and, and you can do that. We can just... Lock in the profit, take the profit, and move on to move on to the next fight. You know, there's not we're not going to get rich of every single fight, but Tiafimo Lopez is hyper athletic. He's more athletic. He's a bigger puncher. He's he's got everything on um, Jermaine Ortiz. I, I don't really see a path. You know, Jermaine Ortiz does everything I just mentioned except for hit, but Lopez does it better. I don't really see a path to victory for Ortiz if he comes inside. He's going to get nailed if he tries to fight from the outside he's just gonna lose so i, I don't this is just not a great fight for ortiz to win so i'm taking lopez how he wins he's probably gonna win on uh points but I, I wouldn't bet on that he, he could stop him like it's certainly possible uh but that's what we got uh tv with lopez times two on the money line two dollar bet makes you 28 57 lock it in take the profits uh, it is, oh, uh, please, uh, follow the Patreon again, follow my Patreon, please like share and, and subscribe. Uh, also follow, uh, all of my channels on tech. I'm sorry. Follow my other channel on Texas boxing scene. Uh, again, I don't gamble, but if you do, uh, we use DraftKings always. I always use DraftKings for my book. I think it has the best odds. Uh, I think it has good odds. It's user-friendly. Uh, it's got all types of props, so I always use DraftKings. I don't gamble, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. It is February 4th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.